Hello from Shraddha from Love Bites. A really beautiful healthy cake today. It's a whole wheat rose pistachio gulab jamun cake. I had made it for my in-laws 60th anniversary and they had loved it. They didn't know that it was whole wheat. It was so moist and so light and so fluffy. I have made it with coconut sugar which I have taken from Make It's an all women's enterprise and they do good work. The saffron in this is from Om and they get all the kesar from the farmers directly from Kashmir. I have used fresh rose petals. You can use dry rose petals whatever is handy for you. It's a very simple recipe and the glaze that I have done mine has become little liquidy because I like it like that. But if you want it thicker then add less water so add little at a time. Make this for Holi, Diwali, Janmashtami, Ganpati time, lots of options. So give it a try to like, to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. All the recipes are given in the description box below. Have a look. Until next time, bye-bye. To make our rose pistachio gulab jamun cake, we're going to heat some milk and add some vinegar. We're going to do this because I want to curdle the milk and we're going to just keep it aside for now. We're going to sift our dry ingredients for the cake. Baking soda, baking powder, salt, cardamom powder, whole wheat flour. Those who don't want to use whole wheat can use all purpose and some milk powder. We're going to sift this two to three times because it's a whole wheat cake. I want lots of air. I've sifted it thrice and I'm keeping it aside for now. Let's work on our wet ingredients. Take a bowl. To the bowl add any oil which doesn't have flavor. To the oil we're going to add some coconut sugar. I'm using coconut sugar. You can use any sugar that you feel like. We are just going to beat it for a couple of minutes. I had mixed the coconut sugar and oil for a few minutes. To this we're going to add some rose water and a wee bit of vanilla extract. To the oil and sugar, we're going to add the curdled milk. Make sure it's come to room temperature and isn't very hot. Just to mix, take the dry flour with the various ingredients which we had sieved and kept and add that. With a gentle hand, we're just going to fold it in. Please do it very gently because all the air that you've incorporated is going to disappear if you do it with a heavy hand. It's really well mixed. We've gone to the bottom of the bowl and there are no dry bits. After it's well assimilated, take a baking tin which I have greased and dusted and we're going to just put a batter in here. Here a batter has been added to the baking dish. I'm just going to put it in the oven to bake. It's going to take half an hour or as long as it takes for a skewer to come out clean. Oven has preheated to 180 degrees centigrade. Let's keep it inside to bake. Let's check. It's been 25 minutes in my oven. Here, it's done. We're going to take it out. We're going to keep it on a cooling rack to cool for now. And we're going to unmold it after it has cooled down. Our cake has completely cooled. Just run a knife around the edges. Just try and unmold it, pat it a little, here, it's come out well and we are just going to do some glaze on this. Let's make the glaze for our rose pistachio whole wheat jamun cake. Take some icing sugar, to the icing sugar a wee bit of lemon juice, some saffron strands that had soaked in hot water, just going to mix it, add very little water like half a teaspoon at a time and make the glaze. If you add too much at a time, it might get too runny. I'm getting a beautiful fragrance with the saffron and look at the color. Make sure your sugar dissolves. See, I still have little grits. We don't want that. My glaze is ready. I've got a perfect consistency. So when you get this, make sure your cake has totally cooled and then do the glaze. Now take the glaze and just glaze your cake. Take some slivered pistachios and just garnish. If you have dried rose petals, take that. I have fresh, so I want to use that. That's it. A very beautiful cake. 
perfect for festive season it's eggless and whole wheat so it's healthy also give it a try guys thank you